Son sends photo of girlfriend to mom, she cuts him off. Mazin kept staring at the message, trying to make sense of what he was seeing. Being close to his mother his entire life, he never imagined that she would ever treat him in such a manner. Although he didn't like what had transpired, he thought she had overreacted. He now felt controlled. He'd never envisioned himself in the position of being torn between the woman he loved and his very own mother. Mazin Volance was raised in Alma, Michigan. His mother, in particular, had been very strict and always ensured that he understood and practiced good values as a kid. Unfortunately, this sometimes meant that Mazin regularly kept up a good boy appearance. Mazin didn't always keep to the rules, so he tried his best to avoid disappointing his mom. When Mazin grew up, his career path took him in a different direction than he intended. Straight out of college, he was offered a great position with a major company. He was excited and knew he could not pass up the offer. At the same time, he also felt bittersweet emotions. As great as the job was, there was a huge catch the job was in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Mazin's mother loved him dearly. After hearing the news that he would be leaving home soon, Mrs. Volans could not hold back her tears. While she supported Mazin's career and was proud of him, she also worried a lot for her boy. When the day arrived, the farewell was an emotional one. When Mazin said goodbye to his mom, she asked him to make her a promise. Although Mazin was a grown man now, to his mom, he would always be her little boy. Having him live so far away was difficult for her. Mrs. Volance worried that Mazin might be influenced by the world and lose his way. To counter this, she made Mazin promise her that he would remember his roots and always be a good boy. As Mazin traveled to his new home, his mother's face and words stayed etched in his memory. Mazin embarked on his new life and career. The differences between Michigan and Tennessee were stark. At first, it was difficult as he felt a little homesick and found it hard being in a new state. But things slowly changed and Mazin began to enjoy his new life. Just as he thought things couldn't get any better, he met a girl. Megan Green had lived in Tennessee her entire life. While out with her friends one night, she and Mazin met and clicked instantly. The pair continued to hit it off and a whirlwind romance ensued. Mazin was happy and the couple took things slow and steady. Over time, as things got more serious, Mazin realized it was finally time to break the news to his family. Knowing his mom's overprotective instincts, Mazin was a little wary of how she might react to his new girlfriend. Mrs. Volance had always been the special lady in Mazin's life and he knew she was a great judge of character. This meant that if she accepted his relationship, it would indicate that Megan was the right girl for him. Mason was so infatuated with the new relationship he never thought about how he might feel if his mom didn't accept Megan. Mason was relieved when his mom seemed genuinely happy for him. She asked many questions about Megan's background but never gave any indication that she wasn't happy about their relationship. Mason was happy that things seemed to be going well so far. After a while, Mrs. Volance asked Mason to send her some photos of Megan. Mason was excited to show his mom how beautiful Megan was but had no idea that the photos would change everything. Among the pictures that Mason sent to his mom, there was one of Megan in bed wearing a shirt that Mrs. Volance had bought for him. He found it odd that his mother never replied. The next day when he was looking through the photos he sent, Mason was mortified when he realized that one of the photos unknowingly exposed an intimate detail about his and Megan's private life. The photos in question showed a red rope left tied to the couple's headboard. Mason and Megan were an adventurous couple. While he wasn't ashamed of his private life, Mason was embarrassed that this had been revealed to his mom. At worst, Mason expected his mom to be slightly judgmental about the photo. However, days went by without him hearing from his mom. She had stopped speaking to him entirely and wasn't accepting his and Megan's union. But things were about to go from bad to worse. Before sending the photo, Mason had talked to Megan about it. However, he hadn't decided on the photo to send. It was pure coincidence that he sent that particular one, and when he saw the little red detail in its background, his insides wizened with embarrassment. He had no clue that, just as he was, Megan was also awaiting his mom's response. Megan had always been free with her likes and dislikes. Her parents had taught her the importance of being one's true self. As such, she rarely hid things from them. She lived a free life, accepting every facet of herself, even the sides others would deem unorthodox. This included a very intimate part of herself that she should have kept hidden. Among the things that Megan saw as normal were her likes and dislikes in the bedroom. She was very adventurous, something that she was glad Maze and loved about her. Many people in her life knew this about her, including her parents. Not that she went everywhere flaunting it. Those close enough just knew. Given how she was brought up and how free she was with her parents, she expected the same from Mason's mom. Throughout the time Megan and Mason were together, Mason constantly talked about his mom. He painted her as this wonderful, strict, and loving saint. Even though it was too early to harbor such thoughts, Megan had considered her as her mother-in-law and loved the idea. She'd never considered the possibility of Mason's mom not accepting her. 
Days passed after Mazin sent the photo. No response came. The young couple couldn't understand it, given how Mazin's mom had talked about wanting to see Megan. At first, Megan thought Ms. Volans disapproved of how she looked. Did Mazin's mom have something against her looks? Megan's mind raced as she tried to uncover the secret. It was then that she saw the detail. At first, Megan couldn't believe what she was seeing. Above her hair on the brown headboard was the red rope. Her lips curled as embarrassment rushed through her veins. Although she was free with herself, this wasn't the first impression she wanted to have on Mason's mom. Could she salvage the situation? She wanted to be part of their family, and such detail as the first thing Mason's mom saw wouldn't help on that front. But Megan couldn't just reach out to Mason's mom without a response first. Although she hated the silence, she couldn't help but be patient. But as the days went by, her patience began running thin. She knew she had to step in. Megan talked to Mason about the issue. She didn't have any negative things to say about Mason's relationship with her mom. But she couldn't understand why she was seemingly disowning him because of a picture. She shared how much she loved Mason and where she saw their relationship going to an altar and a long life filled with laughter, memories, and a big family. How could they have that when Mason's mom wouldn't talk to them? But she didn't stop there. Megan shared how much she was close with her mom. She revealed that her closeness to her parents was among the things that made her who she was. She couldn't imagine a life where her parents stopped talking to her because of something she'd done. On that note, she shared something that left Mason speechless. I don't want to come between you and your mom, Mason, she said under her breath, tears breaking through her eyelashes, although she tried her best to hold them back. A sharp pain shot through her as she thought about starting over again, the love of her life far away from her. Could she sacrifice herself for Mason and her mom to start talking again? Megan loved Mason more than she'd ever loved anyone on this earth. But she could see how much torn he was. She was making him choose between his mom, the woman who gave him life and unconditional love, and taught him everything he knew, and herself. She couldn't stomach that feeling. Mason's answer to her statement would make her tears double. Taking her girlfriend's trembling hands, Mason assured her he'd never let her go. She was the love of his life, and she completed him in so many ways. He told her to forget what she'd just said. She wasn't coming between him and his mom. If his mother had something to get out of her chest, she would. Mason wasn't about to let Megan suffer for any of this. Things were starting to get out of control. A week had passed with Mason's mom maintaining her silence and Megan blaming herself for everything that was happening. Although Mason assured Megan that he'd never leave her, he could see the toll everything was having on her. On the other hand, his mom had made it clear she'd never talk to them again. What could he do now? Mason realized he had to address the issue in fast. He hated feeling trapped between his partner and mother, as they were both very dear to him. He started calling his mom's phone repeatedly. He also left messages, telling her if she didn't pick up, he'd fly back home to talk. He had no clue that the messages would work. The next time Mason called, his mom picked up. They had a lengthy talk, and Mason learned what was truly happening behind the scenes. It turned out that his mom had a different reason for her silence. Mrs. Volance had actually been feeling a little down. Seeing Megan use the shirt she had bought him made her realize that she wasn't his little boy anymore and she had to make peace with him officially being all grown up. But the realization left her in a sense of loneliness as she'd never experienced before. Mason was her everything and she cherished every moment of caring for him. How could she accept the idea of another woman taking over? She opened up to her son and Mason listened carefully. It was then that Mason made a discovery. His mom's silence had nothing to do with the photo's embarrassing detail. When he told his mom that he had begun to feel like she was disowning him, she laughed it off. Mrs. Mason assured her son that she would never do something like that. She'd only needed a little time to process everything. She was actually ashamed of herself for reacting as she did. Mrs. Volance never brought up the issue of the red rope, and after reviewing the photo sent, Mason suddenly realized why. It turned out that when Mason sent the photo, his mom's phone had automatically cropped the image to fit her screen. This fact had worked out fortuitously for Mason, as he realized that the embarrassing detail had been cut out and his mom had never seen it. The comedy of errors was over. Mason and Megan's mom eventually met and his family loved her. The couple eventually moved in and even started a family of their own. Mrs. Volance proved that a mother's instincts and love for her son never dim, no matter how old he gets. It isn't uncommon for parents to feel lost and even abandoned when their children grow up and leave home. Known as empty nest syndrome to a parent who suffers from it, it can even feel like losing their child. Mason Volance learned the hard way that no matter how old a son gets, in his mother's eyes, he will always be her little boy.